peace and blessings welcome back to the channel once again where we talk all things health and healing from a holistic perspective and today is going to be a little bit different as you can see today we're on sankofa tropical farms and typically when i'm on the farm i'm describing to you all of these varieties of tropical exotic fruits that many of you have probably never heard of okay now in a in a quote that i gave before genesis 29 i quote that every fruit and every seed bearing fruit shall be used as food so that's our primary food so that's why you know i eat primarily 60 to 70 sometimes you know upwards of 80 percent of fruit throughout the day and roughly about 20 percent some days some days it could be a low as low as 40 percent is food like food like vegetables and things of that nature okay so i eat a lot of tropical fruit not the typical fruit that you find in the grocery store all right but today what I want to talk about is the power of the leaves, okay? Because another quote that I'll give you, a biblical quote, and this has nothing to do with religion, but it's important because our ancestors caught this and they understood the importance of using food as medicine. And that quote is from Revelations 22 and 2. And it says in that quote, the leaves of the tree shall be used for the healing of nations, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do with my community. I'm trying to heal my nation of communities by showing them some of these medicinal sort of leaves that you get okay now we were currently current uh, we we consistently re refer to those leaves as herbs okay but it's not only the herbs that are for the healing of the nation but it's also the leaves that you'll find on trees like this and this is the neem neem tree okay and the neem is one of the primary one of the herbs that i use in my full body detox okay and the neem is there for a very good reason and i'll talk to you in a, just a second about many of the benefits of, of neem but the importance that i want you to, to get you to understand today is that we don't look at food as medicine in the way that we should be looking at food as medicine okay food as medicine is this very comprehensive thing and it's not this don't eat this eat that it's more of understanding of where the healing is coming from and as i said before a lot of the healing is going to come from the leaves from the herbs things of that nature and that's what i have here today i'm going to share with you this neem okay now when you see neem you'll see that the leaves kind of fan out and you'll also see that they're serrated okay you'll kind of see those serrated edges along there for neem all right and so this is neem all right again i use this in my full body detox so you actually get it in there but the great thing about this neem is this it's rich in vitamin c antioxidants and minerals so it's already loaded with many of the things that you would get in some of the fruit that i tell you about okay but it's also great because it improves the complexion of the skin it also boosts metabolism so it's really great for weight loss love it for that reason as well too uh, I like this also because it reduces inflammation in the body as well, too. So it's anti-inflammatory. It also helps to control diabetes as well, too. And it also destroys certain cancerous cells in the body. And the bark of the tree, so if we were to take some of the bark of the tree, it actually heals certain dental diseases, okay? So it's really important I'm trying to help you guys understand that a lot of the times we'll pick the fruit but not understand the leaves now this is not a fruit bearing tree but the cool the cool thing about neem is that the leaves are very medicinal okay so i wanted to share this guys with you i know many of you have done the detox so you have experienced neem without even knowing it but again neem you can make a tea out of it okay and this is the leaf that we have here on the farm okay so i got five more leaves that i'm going to share with you that are medicinal on the farm so come with me we'll go to the next stop Blessings, people. So here is our next tree, which you see is a mango tree. This is a mango leaf. You can kind of see how it looks. All right. So you can be able to identify it. All right. So these are mango leaves. All right. And these mango leaves are very beneficial. Okay. It's good for stomach ulcers and digestive issues. Okay. So I know a lot of people who have issues with that. I've given them this remedy and it's been very medicinal and helpful for them. Okay. So stomach ulcers and digestive issues. Okay. Number two, it also enhances our vision as well too. So it's good for our vision as well too. And then the number two thing that I'm commonly referring people to use mango leaf tea for is actually gallstones and kidney stones, okay? Now, what I've seen work 
really good is also the tea but also in the powdered form as well too so good for gallstones and kidney stones okay it'll help to sort of start to dissolve the gallstones and kidney stones okay it's also loaded with vitamin e and vitamin e is a hormone or antioxidant uh, that is really good for helping with libido okay so for all my fellas out there who want to get that young men back in the in the bedroom this may be the answer for you okay the mango leaf tea all right and as you can see we out in nature so i i have no control over what's going on with the birds today and the butterflies over here over there okay so vitamin e all right good for libido all right and it's also really good for skin and hair as well too so drinking the tea for that purpose as well too and it contains something called mangaferrin okay mangaferrin activates adiponectin adiponectin increases the metabolism of the burning of fat okay so it's really good for weight loss as well too so again this is mango leaf tea and what you do is you take about 10 to 15 of these leaves okay you boil them in two to three cups of water and drink the tea and there you have it mango leaf tea and this is guava leaf as you can see it started to pour rain out here but the education still continues all right so this is guava leaf and as you can see the guava tree behind me i just picked one off and took a chunk out of it and it's delicious i wish you could smell it but the guava leaf is very medicinal too not just the fruit okay the guava leaf helps to suppress blood sugar especially that blood sugar spike you get after eating a meal okay that's really important for diabetics and one of the things it really does really well is prevent the absorption of both maltose and sucrose which are both sugars okay it also increases the production of sperm as well too and we know that fertility is a huge issue these days all right it also helps with diarrhea and dysentery now in practice what i've seen people do is combine the leaf with the roots of the trees and has really helped people with that dysentery issue also with bronchitis it actually helps to open up the lungs opens up the lungs and it actually loosens up the phlegm or the mucus in the lungs as well too all right so it's good for bronchitis as well and it also is good for toothaches um you know dental gum disease and sore throat as well too so you can drink the tea for that purpose as well and it also helps with allergies as well too so there you have it guava leaf don't just eat the fruit get the leaf too this my friend is sarasap leaf tea as you can see the tree here behind me i'm going to show you some of the fruit on the tree in just a second now i know i've told you about the medicinal benefits of the fruit itself sarasap but did you know that the leaves are also medicinal as well too okay sarasap leaves are very medicinal they're loaded with phytonutrients okay phytonutrients like flavonoids saponins alkaloids cumarins terpenoids tannins all of these things that are literally fighting machines inside of your body okay not only that, these soursop leaves are actually really good for insomnia. So if you're having problems falling asleep or staying asleep, they're good for that as well too. So drinking the tea. They're also good for diabetes as well too, okay? And they regulate the blood sugar and they help with the spikes, especially those post-meal spikes that people quite often encounter as well too. So soursop leaf is really good for that as well. They're also good for protecting the kidneys as well too which is hugely important especially for diabetics because diabetics have a high increased risk of developing kidney disease okay so they're kidney protective as well too and they do that by helping to get rid of a lot of the waste and toxins that are left over in the kidneys okay so sour top leaf is really good for that as well and then they're really good as a natural pain reliever to drink the tea for that as well too and then they're really, really good for calming the nervous system. So if you're one of those people who are always stressed, you're one of those people who have nervous system issues, this tea will be very good for you as well too, all right? And it also is really good for the same reason that the fruit is, for fighting cancer or tumors or tumors in the body, okay? Sarsap leaf in particular is good at fighting lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer, and even liver cancer as well too. So this is a great preventative tea to drink on a daily basis to help with the prevention of those particular cancers. 
and it also is really good for lowering blood pressure and inflammation in the body now that's how i discovered this tea i discovered the tea because as i told you guys at the beginning of my journey when i started this journey i was about 50 pounds heavier i had high blood pressure that i got diagnosed when i was actually 16 years old okay so as a result of starting you know to change my eating habits i also wanted to know well all right i'm eating this the all the foods that are say that are really good and high in magnesium i'm eating all of the foods that they say are really good for inflammation in the body that also affects the heart as well too well what are some of those foods that i could be eating or teas that i can be drinking to lower my blood pressure and this was one of them that i started to drink as well after doing my detox so soursop leaf is a very powerful leaf as i said before leaves were made for the healing of the nation okay leaves were made for the healing of the nation and the unfortunate thing about a lot of the leaves they get left off we take the fruits let the leaves fall to the ground you know dry up and go right back into the soil which is a good thing but we actually can be using this to actually heal ourselves as well too so what i want to do now uh, there's not a lot of light out here, but I want to be able to show you some of the fruit that are on the tree, okay? So we're going to take this off and take you on an adventure with me inside of the tree here, okay? So as you can see, we're going to have to go inside. And this is really cool because as we get in here, what you're going to notice is you can see what the fruit actually grows like on the tree, okay? That's what I want you to see. And this particular tree has something very interesting going on that I haven't seen on the other 24 trees on our property, okay? So if you look here, you can see the soursop growing, but look at this cluster of soursops. Probably never seen anything like that before. It's a cluster, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A cluster of eight soursops. Now they get much bigger than that, as you can see here and also here. Okay, we get much bigger, but I thought that was really cool. And you can kind of see this one as well. That soursop right now is like the size of a big strawberry, but that's gonna get pretty big. And you can see it by hand comparison. And I've seen these grow as big as like the size of my head as well too. So really cool, soursop. You can see the fruit here. You can see that's a flower right there. You can see the baby one right there. You can see another flower right there as well too, okay? So I thought that would be really cool to kind of show you guys what the sour shops look, looks like on the inside of the tree. All right, cool. So let's go to the next one now. The next medicinal leaf that I'm going to share with you here on Sankofa Tropical Farm is Moringa. This is the Moringa leaf, okay? Now, I first came into contact with this one when I was in Africa. And you'll find this in a lot of places in Africa, and they actually eat this right off the trees. They cook it, though and in many places they overcook it. Uh, but this makes a great juice, a great tea, and it can be very medicinal for the body as well. One of the reasons why it's so medicinal is because it's so rich in nutrients, okay? It's very rich in antioxidants. The one antioxidant in particular that is very rich in is coercetin, okay? Now, a lot of people know coercetin for two things. One, coercetin, a natural antioxidant, antioxidant that is in Moringa, um, coercing it helps to lower blood pressure okay and so uh, it's really good for that uh, but also coercitin you probably heard it because during the pandemic people were trying to find natural alternatives for this virus that was going around and uh, guess what they everybody all the health experts was recommending it to everybody coercitin and guess where you can get tons of it from moringa okay and this moringa tree that you see here behind me is a pretty big one we have a couple of here on the property but my, the moringa tree is often referred to as the tree of life okay again because it has so much nutrients in it all right so it's loaded with coercetin which lowers blood pressure and is actually very good for boosting the immune system during the pandemic you should have used this okay another thing that this is really good for is this reducing inflammation and edema in the body too so if you have you're one of those people where you tend to see that quite often your body is swollen or feel edematous 
and the lower limbs, this may be useful for you, okay? Because it could be very useful for that reason as well to help with the edema and the inflammation, okay? Now, that's only part of the issue, uh, but it's really important to understand that you can really help yourself with this because that's part of one of the ben benefits of it, okay? The other thing that Moringa is really good at is lowering cholesterol, okay? So that's one of the other benefits that Moringa has been touted for, to lower cholesterol. And we all know that when you're lowering cholesterol in your, in your body, especially the excess cholesterol that the body doesn't need, that that helps with the heart health as well too, okay? So Moringa is good for lowering cholesterol. And it's also really good for protection against arsenic toxicity, okay? arsenic toxicity and where are we getting a lot of arsenic tox toxicity well a lot of people if you eat a lot of rice um, you'll commonly see do your own research that a lot of the rice is affected with a lot of arsenic okay and why is it affected with a lot of arsenic because of the runoff from a lot of these um, farms that don't farm organically they use a lot of chemicals so a lot of the arsenic ends up in the runoff water which pours over into the other uh, farms, which quite often pours over into the areas where they're growing rice, okay? So you get arsenic toxicity from there and other places as well too. And guess what? Moringa helps with that, okay? And another thing that Moringa has been touted for is anemia as well too. Moringa is really good for anemia as well too. And one of the ways that you can identify Moringa is you'll notice that First of all, how the leaves are shaped on the stem. You'll also notice that the leaves are sort of rounded here at the edge too, okay? So this is the Moringa tree that you see here, okay? So you, you might wanna get a little Moringa in your life, okay? We have about four or five of these trees on the property just for that purpose as well too. All right, cool, so let's go to the next tree. Come on. Another medicinal leaf that you should definitely be drinking as a medicinal tea it's Sapodilla, AKA Naysberry, okay? Very popular fruit in Jamaica. Tastes like brown sugar, but it's actually good for your blood sugar. It's actually good for diabetics, uh, the fruit itself. But the leaves are actually medicinal as well too. They're loaded with potassium. They're an excellent source of potassium, which means that they're good for the blood pressure. It also boosts the immune system, so it helps with coughs and colds as well too. It promotes bone health, is good for diarrhea. And if you use the bark of the tree, the bark of the tree is actually good for dysentery and also diarrhea as well too. So with this tree, you can basically use everything. You can use the leaves, you can eat the fruit, you can use the bark, okay? And the thing that I use this for is a quick boost of energy. I typically will drink this before I go to the gym just to get my, that's basically my pre-workout. Before I go to the gym, I'll either have some star fruit or I have some sapodilla a naysberry tea. And that'll give me like a shot of energy to go to the gym as well. All right, so definitely wanna incorporate this one into your diet as well, okay? Into your medicinal regimen, all right? So naysberry or sapodilla tree. And as you can see, you look on the tree, you can see the fruit here, okay? That's the fruit. All right, now this is a baby size, but this is gonna grow. And when it grows, it's gonna get about the size of my hand here. Okay, and it's really, really delicious, all right? So, Sapodilla, AKA Nesbury. Again, I wanna wrap this up by helping you guys understand that quite often when I'm here on the farm, I'm explaining to you guys about the medicinal qualities and benefits of a lot of the fruit. But you gotta understand, like I was mentioned in the, in the beginning, the leaves were made for the healing of the nation. So this is how we heal. The fruits are how we nourish ourselves, okay? The green leafy vegetables, how we nourish ourselves. The vegetables, how we nourish ourselves. The nuts and the seeds, how we nourish ourselves. But the leaves were made for the healing of nations, okay? So you gotta learn how to incorporate these, which makes sense because when you think about my detox, it is a combination of leaves, barks, stems, Okay, combination of leaves, bark, stems, roots, etc. That's what makes up my detox. That's what makes up the healing in the detox. That's why my detox is so healing. It is a combination of the whole plant. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check the next video out that's right here.
But everything I talk about is how do we take a holistic and natural approach to healing other than a man-made approach? And also, how do we prevent dis-ease in the body as well, too? Because, you know, they say